Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for March. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This could resonate at any time in March. This is for Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? This is just an overall energy I'm going to get right here. Release. It's time to release. It's time to let go of something, right? Something needs to be released. I mean, what more can I say? Card speaks for itself, right? Something needs to be released so that you can be free. Gemini. Letting go of something. You know, maybe it's with the new moon or the full moon, you know. What do we got for Gemini for the month of March? Saying goodbye. Saying goodbye to something. Whatever it is. It could be so many things. Something is being let go. There's no doubt. <laughs> okay. The tower. You know, upright or reversed. Something is being let go. Okay. You may be trying to avoid it. Maybe you've been trying to avoid it. Maybe, you know, it hasn't been easy, right? Something hasn't been easy, but the tower is a rude awakening. Whether it comes now or later, it's coming. It's coming. Um, I think that things have been turned upside down for long enough, and it's time to build a new structure. You know, it's time to rebuild. It's time to rebuild something, right? It is. Um... You need to believe in yourself. You need to have faith. Maybe you need to walk away from the past. The Eight of Cups with the Six of Cups. I mean, maybe somebody needs to release the past. I mean, that looks pretty... Uh... evident it does maybe it's just some memories that you're holding on to maybe you need to walk away maybe it's a commitment maybe it's a marriage I'm not I mean I'm not saying you need to go out there and get divorced but you know this is a commitment in many cases this is also a card of going your own path believing in yourself listening to your inner guide so it feels to me, I mean, the Eight of Cups, somebody needs to walk away from something that is emotionally unfulfilling. You know, maybe you just keep the memories and walk. Now you all know these cards mean so many things, so let me get the rest and see what other messages come through. Maybe it's time to, you know, get back to your innocence. Heal your inner child. Ooh. Damn. Damn, damn. I mean, <laughs> there's there's some suffering, there's pain, there's pain, there's 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 grieving heartache heartache over a loss definitely with the five of cups and the eight of cups and something has already crashed down or it's about to crash down
Mm. You have a new beginning here. You do. You have a new beginning waiting for you. It's just, it's waiting. It's just waiting, okay? But the problem is, is you have to release something first. You gotta let go of something first so that you can have the new beginning. And it may be painful because this is trying to avoid pain. So you may be trying to avoid something, you know, but maybe you're starting to realize, maybe you're starting to realize that there's another opportunity. There's a better opportunity out there for you. Maybe you've been throwing opportunities away. Maybe you've been blinded to the opportunities that were presented to you because you were holding on to something from your past. You know, those memories, they're hard to release. They're hard to let go of. Especially when there was so much passion involved, right? So I really feel like there is a new beginning here and you will have a passionate new start with somebody else. You will. And this could be somebody that you have known before. But you're going to have to release the one that is holding you back or the situation that is holding you back. There's no doubt. Somebody is holding on to something, uh, uh, it looks to me like some sort of hurtful situation that is hindering them from getting what they deserve, getting the wish fulfillment that they deserve, getting the, the emotional fulfillment that they deserve. You have the opportunity to make a wish and have it granted. I mean, there's that genie, right? Your wish is my command. But if you don't make the wish, if you don't believe in the wish, if you don't step over that finish line, if you don't release what no longer serves you, you can't, you know, I feel like, I don't know, this is, this is for Gemini. I feel like for some of you, you may be protecting yourself. Maybe you're protecting yourself subconsciously by hanging on to the past. We all do things subconsciously. It's a subconscious tactic to to hold on to something that hurt you to protect yourself from having it happen again. It's like you you have an opportunity to receive wish fulfillment and to start in a new direction, to go to a new place, you know, to start over, to you know, begin again. But you got to take a new approach. You got to have a new vision. You gotta relight that fire within. And you gotta walk away. You, this is Eight of Cups. You gotta walk away from something that has hurt you and kept you discontent and unhappy. Something you have, somebody has focused on a pain. This is painful. Somebody has focused on a painful situation for long enough and it looks like it's already broken down. Perhaps it's it broken down a while ago. Maybe you're, it's time. Maybe the inner guide is saying, you know, it's time. It's time to complete this chapter, complete this phase of grieving. It's time. You've learned from it, right? You've learned your lesson. You've learned from it. You learned something from it. You learned to believe in yourself, right? You learned to listen to your inner guide. It's like something, it, it, it's, it's time, it's time to release the pain once and for all. Complete. It's time to be happy again. I mean, the Nine of Cups reversed, there's a lack of happiness. But you have an opportunity to be happy. You do. You have a major new beginning just waiting for you. It's just waiting for you. You gotta open your heart. You see that heart, the cup is closed. She's got her hand over her heart, over the cup. Not letting it out, not letting the, you gotta let your, you gotta open your heart again. Let your love flow. 
Let somebody love you. Nurture yourself. Listen to your intuition. Treat yourself with compassion. It's like you're trying to stay grounded, right? You're trying to stay grounded, but it's hard to deal with the emotions that have left you perhaps a little bitter. Something has left you a little bitter to the, to the point where you're afraid. I think you're afraid to let anybody, to love anybody. You're afraid to love. You're afraid to give your heart away. I think that, um, I mean, take a, take a look at her face. She's just like, she has her guard up. You got you have your guard up. She has her guard up. She's like, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I'll think about it. So you may be thinking about loving again, you know. Ooh. Some of you are sitting on the fence, right? You're sitting on the fence. You have to make a decision. You, are you ready? Are you ready to release? Are you ready to face your fears? Are you ready to come out of denial? Are you ready to see the truth? Are you ready to unblock your heart? That's what this is about. You have a choice to make. You do. You have a choice to make. You want to carry this around forever? You want to carry this with you until you die? Do you want to collapse? Do you want to die holding on to this pain that you have held on to? It's blinding you. It's blinding you. It's blinding you from seeing other opportunities. You have another opportunity here. You do. With the Five of Cups reversed, the Four of Cups reversed, the Ace of Wands, the, the World card, you have another opportunity, Gemini. You have another opportunity for love if you could choose wisely. And stop blocking everybody from loving you. Stop pushing everybody away because somebody in the past hurt you and didn't follow through. You have a better option. But there's consequences for holding on. There is. Lack of wish fulfillment. Loneliness. Bitterness. You know, you want to you be alone, you'll be alone. You, you, that's your choice. You get to make a choice. If you are in a coupled relationship, it looks like some of you are thinking about walking away. You are. Release the Eight of Cups. I mean, it looks like some of you are thinking about walking away. This is too heavy. It's burdensome. It's too much. It's going to kill you. Going to get hurt even more. Something bad is going to happen. At the, some point, you're going to collapse from this heavy load, from carrying this, it's going to kill you. It is. Stress kills. It's like at some point you got to put your guard down. At some point you got to let somebody in. At some point, you know, you got to let go of those past hurts and you got to start over. So there's an opportunity to start over in a new direction. It's time to, it's, it, there's an opportunity to release and complete that last chapter once and for all. One phase of your life is coming to an end with that world card. It is. But you have to take action. It's your choice. It's your choice. Are you ready for the passionate new beginning? You could have a passionate new start with somebody that you knew when you were a child. Somebody that you grew up with, if you could let this person come in, or somebody from your hometown, could be even somebody that you were just an acquaintance with. I do not feel like this is an ex. I don't. I think somebody is releasing an ex. 
and there's an opportunity to have a new beginning with somebody that you knew a long time ago, but it's not it's not an ex. I don't think it's an ex. Perhaps it was a playmate, you know, somebody that you played with or somebody that lived on the same street as you or somebody that um was a friend of the family or something like that. Could be a past life relationship. I don't know. But I feel like there's an opportunity to come together with somebody. Could be a water sign. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That. You know, you could have some sort of new beginning with. But you got to release something first. That's That's no joke. Somebody is holding on to something that. They don't need to hold on to anymore. You don't need that shit. There's a freaking wheelbarrow right there. Be a hell of a lot easier. Put it down. Why? What is some what are you trying to prove? protecting somebody is trying to prove something they're trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again subconsciously there is an opportunity to put it all down and go an easier route but you're choosing to hold on to it for some reason It's time to come out. It's time to come out of your shell. Do you want to be alone forever? Do you want to live alone? Do you want to be alone? Do you want to feel lonely? Some of you, even if you're in a relationship, somebody is feeling lonely. You know, there's a lot of, there is loneliness here. There's, there's a feeling of, you know, you don't, do you want to grow old alone or not? Holding on to this burden, this baggage, this past you know, I think I said this earlier in this reading. I mean, do you want to be alone or not? It's time. It's time to stop being in solitude. And, you know, you can be in solitude when you're in a relationship if you're not getting reciprocation. Somebody has been in solitude hanging on to something that they don't need to hold on to. It's time to come out. It's time to come out and play. It's time to come out of your shell. It's time to stop isolating yourself from the world. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. You're definitely highly intuitive at this time. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Your intuition is spot on. You know what you need to do. There's no joke. Your, your psychic abilities are probably increasing. Um, you know, I think this period of silence has really given you more time to grow your psychic abilities you know what I mean you've definitely been through a period of solitude you've been through a period of silence you've been through a period of basically you know awakening I think that your 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 time of of solitude has served you very well I think that you have grown spiritually and you are definitely ready to choose a different option I do. I don't think you're the same person that you were when you began this departure, okay? Because there's been a departure here. I think there's been a departure. I think there's been some sort of loss that somebody has hang on, hung on to. They've went through a long period of solitude, a long period of reflection. And I feel you, during this period of reflection, you've really gone through a period of enlightenment and psychic uh, awakening, per se. And you've come to a point where, you know, it's time to uh, work on that next 
soul contract, you know. This is like, when I see this book, I think of the script. You know, it's time to to work on that next lesson, that next life lesson. You know, you've gained the lessons that you needed to learn in this scenario. And it's time to, you know, begin again. It is time to begin again. But it's going to start with you opening your heart and allowing yourself growth, allowing yourself to just go ahead. Just go ahead. You got to go. It's time to go. You deserve love, right? You deserve love. Somebody's not getting the love that they deserve. They're not they're not getting the emotional fulfillment. It's like you you've been shutting down emotionally for too long. It's time to open your heart again. Let somebody love you. It's your choice. You have a choice. You can stay stuck or you can release. This is a choice. What are you going to do? Do you want to break free? Birds are about freedom. Do you want to break free? This is an opportunity right now to break free, release, go your own way, believe in yourself, and start over. You have two paths. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? I mean, that's what this is about. It's about choice this month. It's your choice. And I have to show you. I wasn't going to show you, but I am now. The bottom of this deck. Remember, I was shuffling it. Choice. It's about your choice. You have a choice to make. Do you want to release or do you want to hang on to this heavy burden that is going to kill you? Alone. There's an opportunity to let go of loneliness. There is. Just release. Unblock your heart. Is there somebody new coming in? There could be a new opportunity with somebody that you've known before. It's not an ex. I know it's not an ex. I just know it's not. But, but there's no hurry and you got to have courage. you got to have courage. you got to let your guard down. You guys are in protective mode. Let your guard down. It's like you're in no hurry to go anywhere because of fear. Oh, God. This person, whoever's going to come into your life, whether it's this month or whenever it is, they're going to come after you. They're going to come after you. You're not going to have to chase this person. This person's going to come after you. This person, whoever this person is, is going to see your beauty. This person is... Um, going to see your uh, ability to heal all right because I think for some of you you're, you're a healer you are a healer some of you are healers and whoever is coming into your life um, is gonna see your soul put it that way um, you could have a Taurus coming into your life you could have a Taurus you could have a, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio you could have a Libra you could have anybody. It doesn't really matter what sign it is. But you got to love yourself. I mean, the Empress is a card of self-worth. She's very abundant. She's happy. She doesn't settle. She knows her worth. She is graceful. Um, and she waits. She waits. Opportunities chase her because she knows who she is. So, for the Gemini woman, this is you. You're not going to have to chase. Somebody is going to come in and they are going to see your worth and they're going to come after you. You're not going to have to. You don't. This is not chasing either. Don't go looking for it. This person is going to come after you if you are the Gemini woman. If you are the Gemini man, this may be the woman that you are dealing with. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be any other woman, but this woman is, like I said, she is very graceful, she is very abundant, she's beautiful, she's kind, she's caring, she's compassionate. Um, 
and she gives birth. She gives birth to new things easily. She's very creative. This is the birth of a new life as well. So this is a new beginning. So you guys have an opportunity to give birth to a new life at this time. But the choice, a lot of choice here. Choice, choice, choice is yours. Are you ready to release the pain? To be the, to, for the Empress to give birth, she has to go through pain. And that's the damn truth. Are you ready to release the pain? Man or a woman? Because you're being given the opportunity for a new life. But it all starts with your choice in releasing. Now, is there new love? Is there new love? It's funny. Remember I said you want an emperor, right? I think I said that. If not, I was thinking it. Now, these are soulmates. These are soulmates. And this and the high priestess you could call life partners. They're, they're counterparts. So we got, we got counterparts here and counterparts here. So, you know, you could be... And this is a soulmate card as well. And this is a new passion. So you could be running into a soulmate this month. You could be. Could be in June. Could be in six months from now. Could be... Could happen suddenly. Could happen this month. Could happen out of the blue. Okay, where you run into somebody. And now you've got to make this choice. Are you ready to truly let go and complete that chapter of the past? Do you know your worth? Do you finally know what you're worth? Are you ready? Are you ready for this birth? Are you ready for this blessing? Are you ready for this miracle? So I really feel, I really feel like some of you have a blessing coming okay you have a blessing coming she receives a blessing for dealing for with the pain she does when that when that birth happens it's a damn miracle so you know you got a blessing coming gemini but you got to let go of the need to control you got to go with the flow you got to let go of anger you gotta believe, you gotta have faith. And you gotta choose wisely. You do gotta choose wisely. I feel like you guys are really, really, it's hard. It's hard to let go of control. It is, it is. Just let it be, let it happen. Let it happen. So I feel like the message that I have for this month is to let this person come to you. Open your heart. Drop the past. And do the best you can to make the right choice. Because you have an opportunity to start over, and that is no joke. You do. Why would you stay in a situation where there's no wish fulfillment, there's no happiness? Because, I mean, the emperor reverses somebody who cares about what everybody else thinks. Who gives a shit? what everybody else thinks. You deserve blessings. You deserve miracles. You deserve happiness. You're worth it. You can meet this person at a church. You can meet this person at a park.
this person, whoever this person is, this person could be their own boss. They could be self-employed. But there's no hurry. Just go with it. And drop the fear, drop the past, drop the baggage. And release the pain of the, of the past. Whatever has crashed down, whatever broke down, whatever happened wasn't meant to be. It was part of the script. And now it's time. It's not it's time to uh start that start that. New beginning, right? That last chapter is over. Release it once and for all. That's what I have.